One thing is certain in this business, any business for that matter, and that's if you fail to meet customer demand, somebody else will gladly try to make some money meeting that for you. We have the Minerva mouse pads in today from X-Ray Pad, and they really scratch that aesthetic itch for those of you looking for a Zowie Davina GSR SE. Those pads have been notoriously difficult to get your hands on since they launched, and to my knowledge, they're not even being produced anymore. Not only does this pad look like it, it plays awfully close to a GSR SE as well. We'll talk about why and where it stacks up in terms of speed and control. You ready? Let's go! Yo, I'm Brian P, you're watching Bad Seed Tech, and today we're checking out the Minerva mouse pads from X-Ray Pad. Available for $19.90 USD plus shipping from X-Ray Pad and $29.99 plus shipping from Lethal Gaming Gear. These currently come in only one size, 480 by 400 millimeters. Thickness here is three millimeters. It's also a packaging upgrade from X-Ray Pad as they now come in a branded color matched box and in easily one of the worst translations ever, a skin feel flannel bag. In reality, it's like a micro suede. It's really soft, it's pretty long. So whatever you choose to do with this thing after you unsheathe your mouse pad, hey, that's your business. It's got the usual textured natural rubber backing here because of the dimensions, as well as how light this is, along with that three millimeter thickness, it does move around a little on the desk. It won't totally slide out on any surface I try, but it does sort of migrate around as you play. We do have stitched edges, they're color matched, not as raised as like on the Aqua Control Plus. Consistency is mostly good with like a visible spot where it overlaps to complete its ring around the pad. Nothing about this stitching is uncomfortable or bothersome to me at all. Both the blue and the pink have the same offset lighter color graphic, but they also each have their own like ghosted subgraphic, which is like a paper texture on the blue and what appears to be heart outlines or bubbles or something on the pink. Either way, it's bad news. It makes the pad look dirty. It is subjective, but I feel like this is a misstep. I would have liked to seen the graphic from the blue carried over to the pink or simply had that subgraphic deleted on both. In terms of the surface itself, it's a tightly woven cloth surface. Like most cloth pads, the stitching runs horizontal, giving this particular pad a faster X than Y axis. At first glance, it's nothing remarkable. In game, I put it a touch slower than the Thor, a touch slower than the MP510, a touch faster than the GSRSE. And when I say touch, I mean exactly that. Nothing groundbreaking, nothing super tangible. It's just a fast cloth surface that honestly feels like it won't be fast for that long. The main difference between it and the GSR SE is that it's a little faster, I've got a little less control, it's less comfortable in terms of padding against the desk because the Zowie has that thick foam backing, but something about the surface on the GSRs and the GSR SEs kind of irritates my forearm. I don't know why, but I don't get that on the Minerva at all. The main difference between this pad and the Thor is that the Thor has a very obvious coating. I mained the Thor for a long time. I don't anymore and haven't for a while. My current main is the Aqua Control Plus, if you're curious. I really tried to dig into this and find something like meaningful or tangible to say about the performance but the reality for me is there's not really much noteworthy here is it fast yeah it's exactly as i described it before my only real takeaway is that it seems to offer the least amount of control of any of the pads that i've mentioned so far running pretty neck and neck with the thor i actually performed better with the thor but i chalked that up to muscle memory from maining it for as long as i did my guess is most of you could spend 20 to 30 minutes with this pad and be playing on par with any of the aesthetic pads from like dixie mech or novel keys the gsr se any generic feeling oem pad really with my main warning in terms of performance being that it really didn't exhibit a lot in the way of control. That's all I can say. It should also be mentioned that since moving to the Pacific Northwest, changing humidity, even throughout the day, has become a really big, very recognizable factor, and I feel like this pad is definitely affected by that. Lastly, I worry about the durability of this pad over the long term. I tried to log as many hours as possible on each of these pads before I did this review. Right now, I've got about 15 hours on each one. I haven't seen any signs of slowdown, so I can't say with 100% certainty that this thing isn't going to wear well, but it just feels really similar to other pads I've used in the past that did wear down really quickly. I guess ultimately that's my take on it. Pretty simple. It's a good visual substitute for the Davina pads, even though I'm not real big on the artwork. Had I not invested so many hours into this review, I likely would have passed on this short video and reviewed it by saying only this. If you need a blue or pink XL pad, you don't mind some extra embellishment in the graphics, this is largely X-Ray Pad's most generic feeling pad that they've released so far. If you want to scratch that Davina, that GSR SE itch, 
this will do the trick. Sorry for the short one today. There's just really not too much to talk about when it comes to this pad, but hey, at least I didn't put a one minute pre-roll ad in the video. As always, links down in the description for everything we talked about today. These are in stock at Lethal right now. There's also a code down there for 10% off if you buy direct from X-Ray Pad. I think that code's gonna run for like a week, week and a half. So be fast if you wanna use that. And that's it for this time. I'm Brian P. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that sub button. And until next time, stay up. <laughs>